Hi, this is Blue Phoenix, and in this short video, I'll be looking at palettes in Sinfire 2. And I've got a question from a viewer in the last video that I'm going to cover here. So it's pretty similar to what we saw in Sinfire version 1. Not a whole lot has changed here, but um, in the here's the default uh, view, default arrangement. Just click on palette over here and Stop playing the bass because it just doesn't want to. There we go. Once you get it kind of kick started, then it starts working. Don't know why. So, anyway, the palette starts out in C major. And if you want to change the root note, you simply click on palette, go to root and pick a new one. This is not unlike a uh, Sinfire one. I think it's pretty much the same thing, although it's, it might be tucked into menu. Just click on them and you can browse chords for days. Uh, you can also change it from uh, major to minor. And the comment I got in the last video was, well, how do you do something other than major or minor? It's a fair question. So from scale set, you can go to more, uh, and it'll take you over to this catalog here and under horizontal scale, you still got very similar major minor scales. But if you click vertical scale, that opens up modes like, uh, here's Dorian, we got Locrian, Mixolydian, etc. So for this example, I'll just pick Phrygian mode. It's one of my favorites. Now, for some reason, it pulls it open into a new window. I can expand that and make it really big. Um, there's also a lot less chords available, but let's not worry about that for now. Uh, if I go to view notepad, uh, in version one, there's just a notepad button over here. You click that and it gives you an area where you can just drag chords. And we have lost the bass once again. So let's try. Uh, turn it back on. Yeah. I don't know. It's not very consistent. So I'm just going to do a one, five, four, two. Okay. okay now it's back. Bass. So there you go. That's Phrygian mode. Now, if you want to save this palette uh, for later, just do save as. I've already done that. I've got this Phrygian.cogpal, cog, Cognitone palette, and it's in my config directory. So you've got this pop out window here. Maybe you want to actually, I'm going to discard this. If you want to have it in this embedded window, you just go to palette open and it's right here, Phrygian Cogpal. And now I have Phrygian embedded in my uh, main window here. And so the progression you see up here now is the progression of this arrangement. So I can actually go ahead and five, four, two. Now the problem with using this over the notepad is now if I hit play, it's trying to use the instruments in the arrangement. I haven't set that up yet, so just keep that in mind. Other than that, I don't see any differences in how palettes work in Sinfire 2 versus Sinfire 1. It seems to be about the same. In the last video, I was playing around with libraries though, and I was curious why the arrangements used the uh, chord progression that they use. So I'm going to pull up the uh, library I used in the last video. If you haven't checked that out, it's the uh, factories video. And this is how I generated a bunch of melodies here. Let me find the uh, counterpoint. So you'll see down here, it, it marks the chords that it's using. Once again, it I don't know why it's so zoomed out. Uh, C major seven, G seven, A. So this is the default chord progression, and uh, frankly, it's you know it's it's okay. It's a fine progression. Just what if you want to 
try your own chord progression with this counterpoint. Well, there's a little link icon down here, and if I turn on the tooltips, it should tell me what that link does. So, uh, the currently instrument, tempo, and harmony of the arrangement. So, it's going to now use... So you see it's picking up that really edgy Phrygian mode uh, chord progression here. And you can see it, it uses the new notes, C, uh, C minor, uh, G diminished, F minor, D flat major. So uh, let's say I am uh, don't really like that key. It's easier for me to hit, go over here and hit uh, control up arrow. Let's say I want to go to F. Let's say I want to try F Phrygian. Now I go over to library. Sweet like pie. Sweet like pie. So that's just a little bit about how you can use palettes uh, to create a chord progression and then use that chord progression while you're playing around with the libraries. Last time I was looking at the chord machine uh, and I noticed that the chord progressions it was generating weren't, uh, they weren't pleasing to the ear, I would say. Uh, I'm just gonna point this out again. I actually asked on the forums and uh, Andre, the lead programmer, <laughs> uh, answered, so if I go to parameters, harmony, and do chord machine, and turn off, the tooltips are kind of annoying. They pop up too fast or something, I don't know. So if I hit, so it's saying it's in C major, but I, I'm fairly certain that B major is not on the C major scale, even though it says it down here in this little snippet down here. So well, I think I can show the keyboard. It's not right here. Okay, there we go. I think that shows you exactly <laughs> like, so C major is all the white keys. If I click on this, you can see it's using some of the flats and sharps. So um, Andre did say that that is uh, actually in intentional, um, but also that the chord machine is uh, still not fully fleshed out. So maybe he'll add an option later to you know restrict it only to keys within the scale. Let me try this reassess key scales and see if that. See. This is definitely not in scale, so uh, I, I don't know. Um, nope. Well, anyway, that's chord machine. It's still under progress, so don't worry about that too much. And honestly. If I'm going to make a chord progression, I can just head over here and, and just do it. It's it's not hard to come up with a good chord progression using the palette anyway. So uh, the chord machine would be nice to just kind of create some really quick ideas for you. Maybe you'll tr it would give you things you wouldn't try normally, but um, it doesn't seem to work. So <laughs> I don't think it works. Anyway, I uh, hope you found that helpful. And I, am, I promise I'll do snippets in the next video because it's a, it's a kind of a cool area there. And I just need to play around with this some more and learn it. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.